Hey guys, this is Alt Beauty Spot, and today I'm going to show you how to do this cute little quick braided hairstyle for your second or third day hair in a super fast, fun little spring makeup look. So please come follow along, and while you're here, think about hitting subscribe down below, and if you're a returning viewer, thank you so, so much. So happy to have you back. Hey guys, I wanted to come on here today and do like the world's quickest tutorial. I just worked out and rinsed off and it is not hair washing day tomorrow is and so I wanted to do super fast makeup and like fun little hair tutorial with you all today so first off hair I want to do it first um so here is I don't know second day well yeah third second or third day hair um i would recommend that for most like hair do type things it's probably going to go better if it's second or third day um just kind of i don't know you get more texture um for me the base the top gets flat but the base gets volume which is all good um yeah i don't know you just want a bit messier of hair so I am gonna add just a bit more texture with this Rawa Rahua enchanted island salt spray um, this is super clean and I love it it smells amazing I don't know what's in it that I love the scent of so much it might be the guava fruit or there's hibiscus too. Oh, passion fruit. Oh my gosh. It just smells so good. And it's that perfect like salty wavy texture um, without feeling gummy or anything. I'm spraying a good bit in because I really want the volume and texture. If I was wearing my hair down, that would be way too much it would get like well for my hair to feel nice it would get like way 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 too gunky if you will um but yeah i think it just adds really nice texture and volume and you can get some of that like back combing fluff without back combing your hair and then next, so I'm doing a center part because I want to do kind of like these cute little pigtails. They're not going to be like braids though. I don't know. They're going to be really cute. So, um, you, the only other thing you'll need other than maybe some bobby pins are just little hair elastics. The smaller ones are going to be better and pick the ones that are best for your hair. I normally go with black i know now that my hair is colored they might show up a bit more but i didn't need to buy more just because i lightened my hair so then you're gonna go in and starting on one side gather your hair in a spot that is gonna like look cute because even though my hair is fully like down right now that's where the the braid if you will is gonna sit so you need like you want to really enjoy how and where it's sitting and then before you go too far just try to match the other side and it'll help it stay um in the spot you want it to or not it'll help it stay out of your way while you're working on one side versus the other i know some people look better with it like further back or a little more forward i like going like just behind my ear so that hair can cover my ear but isn't like in my face so now that your hair is where you want it, you are going to kind of up and down. You're going to split it into two. And based on your haircut, you're going to have like shorter and longer pieces. 
and you just want to try to not leave one section with all the short hair like you want to kind of split up the hair lengths as well as just the overall amount of your hair into two and then you are going to take another elastic and the the more so the bottom one you're going to tie an elastic around it just a few spots down or a few inches down like two three inches and this will kind of depend on your hair length I don't know if this hairstyle is gonna work as well for super short hair I would say it needs like medium to longer hair so like that and then take this other chunk of hair and just kind of split it in two it doesn't need to be as precise and tuck it around and then tie that off as well okay now you want this elastic to be um, the chunk of hair that you just kind of wrapped around to be kind of in the middle of the loop you just created it'll help it hide it and then the hair you just split in two kind of pick just really small pinches of the hair and just kind of loosen and messy it up make it more voluminous and I like mainly just aiming for whichever pieces were on like the outside like that and then you're just gonna keep alternating and going back and forth um, until you get to the bottom and you just kind of want to make them somewhat even um, doesn't have to be too precise but you know whatever lengths and kind of loops you're creating you just want them to kind of stay consistent as you go down And then I think I'm going to leave a longer tail like that. Um, and you don't really have to totally tie it off at the end if you don't want to. This helps continue to hide that elastic, at least from the front side. Um, but you're welcome to. And then you could always like tie a little piece of hair around it or something. But I think I like the little bit of like the longer, bushier end. You decide that for yourself and then you just repeat it on the other side. And then once you're on this other side, you can kind of um, feel the elastics on the back of the first braid you did and you can kind of try to like line them up so that when you're done they're pretty even so I'm just feeling down and there's one and then two and then I kind of hold them down and they feel about the same height and so then I could just leave it the reason I think it's important to puff them up as you go is so um when you apply that next elastic it doesn't get too tight if you want to like go back and loosen things up And there's a super cute little braid option, a little different, and you could still wear a hat or something. It's just not your typical braid. 
works the same way debatably more secure because you're not relying on your hairs to get all the way to the end to be locked in you're kind of giving them little elastics along the way and then next i'm just gonna do a super super quick little makeup tutorial so i'm gonna start with the kosas tinted face oil and once that's shaken up just a few drops And then, because you can't use one without the other, the Kosas uh, Revealer Concealer. And my e.l.f. Camo Concealer Sponge. And because it's a gorgeous spring day outside and I want to pretend that it's summer, I am going to go in with my Lily Lolo bronzer in Montego Bay and just kind of bronze up my face a little bit. Next, I'm going to go in with my iNatural um, Cream Multi-Stick in the shade Awaken. And just a nice stipple brush. And really get some of that color off the top. This is one of my favorite multi-sticks. It just kind of goes with anything I can wear, even if I didn't put any other makeup on. And it just instantly wakes your face up <laughs> super simple like that in the spirit of this being a crazy easy look I'm not really going to do my brows I'm just going to brush them and fluff them and then I was thinking almost like almost I was thinking of almost um, kind of color blocking my eyes. So super simple, I'm just gonna do one shade on my lid, one shade on my lower lash line. And because of this, I chose mid tone, so not too bright, not too dark, muted shades of um, both a green and a purple. So I chose the On Natural Powder Shadow in African Violet and then Prisma Palette's shade, sage color. Um, African Violet has just a touch of, I wouldn't even say it's metallic, it would have, it's a bit pearlescent and then sage is matte. I just thought that that would be the best and probably most flattering for how simple this is. I'm going to do African Violet on my lid. So I'm going in with a bigger, just all over shadow brush and a decent amount so that I get good color payoff. And if the color is not applying the way you want it to, never hesitate to just slightly wet your brush so that you get a better, more pigmented application. Great, easy, and then now just go in with your other color and a slightly smaller brush and just sweep it under your lower lash line. You can do eyeliner if you want to, otherwise just some swipes of mascara. And a lipstick. I chose the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte one in Boss. It's just a nice um, purpley nude. 
basically the color of my lips. There you have it. It's a super easy second, third day hairstyle and fast but effective kind of cute spring makeup look. So hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. Again, this is Alt Beauty Spot. Um, and you know, you're already here. So maybe think about hitting subscribe down below. Have a great day, guys. Bye.